This is the box that they sent me. What is so exciting about this device is that it is a single board computer built in to basically a hard drive enclosure. That's all that's in the box. I'm just going to throw that down there. And let's get in it together. Now, I was watching Doctor Who last week, and I'm afraid to do anything with the bubble wrap. I'll just set that aside safely. Uh, okay. Now, this is sealed. Marshman. What? You Look did Look what it. I found. Yeah. <laughs> He's so proud of you. Oh, I know, I know. And there it is. I feel like there should be like some he heavenly semaphores playing as I open this. I want you to understand how incredible this is for SOC and single board computers. You'll notice there is no HDMI output, there's no video output. This is strictly your DIY NAS unit. There is a larger form factor version of the HC1. It's called, cleverly, any guesses? No. The HC2. No. Yeah, the Home Cloud 2 will take a full-sized, <laughs> like, three-and-a-half-inch hard drive. Now, what this bad boy is going to take, so what I want to point out is that this is basically an XU4 single-board computer. I say that. It's not really an XU4, but it's it's got the same SOC. So what it has underneath of this, you notice that there's no processor? It's because it is on the bottom side. You can't even see it, but it's down there, and it's making contact over here with the cooling architecture of this aluminum body okay so this heat sink it's basically like the the chassis is this giant heat sink and the SOC is underneath of this bit here and it's keeping cool the SOC is why is it so exciting it is a Cortex a15 2 gigahertz processor with a Cortex a7 uh, CPU as well that gives this a total of eight processing cores eight cores folks amazing unbelievable it has two gigabytes of RAM and as you can observe here it has an SATA 3 header built right into the board so what does that mean? Now we can take our Kingston SSD. There you go, I've got a 960 gig or one terabyte drive, and I just simply slide it in there, and boom. Now huh. it's part of that device. So now, this SOC, when I boot it, I'm gonna have access to this drive as a hard drive for this system to use for storage. Now, it does boot from an SD card, so I've got a, a micro SD card, which I've installed Maverick's Debian Stretch uh, on this. So you can download that at cat5.tv slash mev, just to make it simple for you. That'll take you to the forum thread that gives you that image for Debian Stretch. And that is going to boot from that SD card. Then the data is going to be stored here. This is where we're going to actually put stuff. The case here, now this is sold um, separately, this upper part here. It's just the way that they've done it. So just keep in mind, you'll probably want to pick up one of these as well. And what this does is it's going to just slide right on here, I presume. Of course, I unbox this with you watching, so you know about as much of it as I do. But uh, I think that's just going to kind of pop right on here. Huh. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Probably don't yeah. want to do it with the SD card right there. Does Let's it slide see. on? It looks like it should. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's like a... Yeah, like a like little a track. Ridge. There we go. Okay. And then this side here, I imagine that's going to do the same thing, and they're going to lock together. So no screws needed. Ah, yes. Ah. Okay. Ah there we go. We're learning here together, folks. <clears throat> so this is the Odroid HC1. I've put my Kingston 960 gig hard drive in there. I've got Maverick's um, install here on a Kingston 16 gig micro SD, which I'm just going to pop right in there. It's going to use 5 volt, 4 amp. Of course, we need that 4 amp because we're also powering a hard drive as well. It's got USB 2 and it has gigabit Ethernet. Ooh. Beyond that, the, uh, the SD card uh, slot, the, uh, the micro SD slot, 
is uh, is UHS-1 compatible, so it is fast. Uh, but again, we're going to probably put most of our data is going to be happening here. Just the boot and the operating system itself right. is going to happen on the SD card. Bef before you test it, are you putting screws in the SSD? Because there's no. screws on the side on the table there beside you. What what are oh, they for? Oh yeah, look at you. Let's Thanks, see. Thanks, the foo. You made me sound like a genius. Well, <laughs> well where do they go? Yeah. They have oh, to go somewhere. Oh, there you go. Look at that. The foo for the win. <laughs> we've got a couple of, we've got a, a hole there. Mm -hmm. And we've got, that's it. That's, there's just one screw hole that perfectly aligns with my SSD. Perfect. Let's grab that. That way. Because we, you know, we, we absolutely, we only do things correctly around here, folks. We read the instructions. Oh, yeah. There weren't any instructions. You saw what came in the box. That's actually it's true. It's just DIY. It's just, hey, stick this thing together. Figure it out for yourself. This is very, like, chic. I love the look of it. So. Yeah. Uh, and I think that uh, as a little tiny home server, uh, yeah. anything like that, this is kind of an ideal device. I think as a NEM server, as Nagios... How perfect is this for, for something to monitor your network and keep tabs on things? Mm -hmm. uh, put all your logs on the SSD. It's going to give better performance and uh, higher reliability than something like your SD card. SSD, SD. There you go. It's all screwed together. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to jump back over here. Sasha, if you want to hit that wide okay. shot there so that we can see you, and I'm going to make my way back to the set. Okay, so let me just... That's all there is to it. Yeah. Let me see it. Mm -hmm. It is cool. What do you think? Ah, unboxings make me want to buy things. It's just, it's there's so many different things you can do with yeah, this. So okay. it is Linux compatible. So again, I've put Debian on here. Yeah. Cat5.tv slash mev to grab the, uh, the image for that, which you just flash using um, Balana Etcher. Okay. I guess they've renamed it because they got bought out by, or they changed their name or something like that. But Etcher, anyways, you can burn that and then you're good to go. Yeah. Presumably. And you say, well, you've done all the work, but we want to actually see this thing operate. Yes. So don't go anywhere. We're going to fire it up right after this.